I'm Diane Sheridan. My business is Diane Sheridan Designs. I have the knowledge to do lighting design in restaurants, in retail stores, in office spaces, but I love homes. I love beautiful homes. I love making people's homes their own through lighting. The scope of my involvement on this project was to design everything that's built into the structure. There's a technical end where I'm specifying the fixtures to perform a certain way and then there's also an aesthetic end to how it's going to look and translate. The reflected ceiling plan shows where beams are, where ceiling heights change, where arches may be. I place all the lighting fixtures on that reflected ceiling plan and turn that into the lighting plan. So there's a variety of layers of light that I create that vision from. A lighting control system is, is such a great way to control all your lights from one simple button. And it's also a good way to keep your walls clean and clutter free so you don't have lines of switches. It's so nice because you can set up whatever mood you want by programming what you want your end result to be. In this house, a good example of a layering effect of lighting is easily seen in the kitchen. We have task lighting through recessed fixtures that shine down on countertops, and that also can act as a general lighting, so that's one layer. There's also under cabinet lighting that can translate into a, a mood lighting when it's dimmed down to give a nice cast in the evening. And there's cove lighting, which is tucked up above the crown molding that gives a wash of light on the ceiling around the perimeter of the space, which is very mood-oriented. When we look at the casino, it is such an interesting space. The decorative fixtures are stunning in that space, and they're a piece of art within themselves. You've got an illuminated countertop made out of onyx that glows from underneath that is extremely dramatic within itself, as well as recessed fixtures that shine down on that bar area that are inside a mirrored ceiling that virtually disappear because the trims of the recessed fixtures are also of a mirror quality. So it's, it disappears in the ceiling, but you see this great effect on the countertop itself. The onyx for the casino was of a lighter quality to where if we put a light source under it, it would glow. We wanted something that's going to last for a long time that you're not having to change bulbs out of all the time. What we ultimately used in that space was fluorescent lighting. The great room in this particular project is a great example of the use of layering of lighting to make a space really enhanced. You see decorative wall sconces that give that homey feel. And those decorative fixtures help uplight the ceiling. That ceiling in the great room has got so much detail and interest, and those fixtures help illuminate that, as well as another layer of cove lighting that's around the perimeter. You'll see right above where the crown molding is located, we ran linear lights along the perimeter to glow up on that space as well. And it's, it's just a beautiful use of all different types of light. You have the floor lamps in there that give another layer of light that fills the space with that feeling of, of ease, of comfort. When the lighting control system is finalized, I come so back in the evening the with Don Welter, who's the lighting it control is, uh, specialist, and we program all of the scenes that we create. A scene can be when you've come home, maybe it's late in the evening, when you're entertaining. You can have everything set the way that you want it to be set in the areas that you know people are going to be congregating. As the evening goes on, you can program it to where some of those light levels go lower. Let's bring the chandeliers down 10%. Okay, chandeliers down 10%, Kelly. While some of the other ones may raise up, it's done so gradual that people don't really know it's happening. And let's say that one of your guests is meandering down the hallway and eventually comes to one of the alternate rooms, that particular keypad is not able to be engaged to have them turn on or turn off something. Diane Sheridan clearly loves what she does. You know, she brings a passion and an energy to her lighting design work that it's just a pleasure to work with her. 
Um, she's, she's smart and she's super knowledgeable not only about lighting design, but lighting fixtures as well. Diane was a wonderful person to work with. She has a passion about lighting, um, illuminating things, makes her happy, and uh, it definitely shows through in her design. Lighting can evoke a mood. It brings up emotions. It can bring passion, relaxation, comfort, ease, freedom, you know, all of those emotional feelings, and I, I respond to that. It's so instant gratification. You turn it on, it's on. You can turn it up as high as you want. You can turn it down as low as you want. You can create all different types of moods, and to see it done properly, and to feel it done properly, it's like nothing else. There's no way to describe it. It's, it's indescribable sense of well-being. 